The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I've been asked to go through the crude oil that we were looking at yesterday. If you remember, when we were on the line uh, yesterday during the show, I was trying to cover my short uh, from my 786 retracement up here at uh, 8821, uh, and I ended up covering it at 8831, $100 before that. And then, of course, in the, uh, right when the market closed, it went right down and made the low at 88.21. That was a low, which was the 382 retracement of the low we made back here on September 1st. And as you can see, we've gone up into new high ground. Now, you notice, folks, that we went up here. We had this little bit of a pullback right here. That also was a 382 off of this one. Believe it or not, I actually bought some crude oil here because I knew it was going to make a new high. Uh, I got out of it way too soon because I had a short that I put on at uh, – 89, uh, 70, 89.79, and I have a stop at uh, 89.59, so I'm risking $800 in that, but I more than made up for, for any particular loss that I have down in here, plus I made another 50 pips in here. So that's what I'm doing when I'm watching these short-term markets, because they are volatile, and they're moving quite rapidly, as you can see what's going on. Now, we've got an a arm is out here with its IPO today. It was due to open at 65. It opened at 55. And then it went from 55. The last I saw, it got to 62. I don't know if it went much higher than that. So it's been a it's, it's been very positive. Of course, it's related to chips and AI, which are all things that are very, very important uh, in the market. And, of course, with anything like artificial intelligence, it certainly is. Okay, now we've had a breakout in the Dow Jones December. Let's try that again. Not yet on the December Dow Jones, but it, it is going to break out. That was one of my quick losing trades today. I sold the 61% retracement in the Dow Jones when it was up 160, and we had a 100-point stop on that that lasted about the total of about 15 minutes, and we were we were out of that. But uh, other than that, you know, we've had some other, other nice ones that have uh, lined up pretty nicely. I wanted to share with you what's been happening in the bond market, folks. Because what's happening in the bond market, let me get this up here, and we'll be able to see it without too much trouble here. I will get the bond market up, and we'll be looking at that right about here. So let me get this over. There's the bonds. As you can see, yesterday we had the, uh, the big run-up. Now, the big run-up here, uh, hopefully you can see this. I'm hoping uh, that we can. Let me ask the folks here at uh, TFNN whether they can see the chart. Uh, okay in the Treasury bonds. Is that one uh, looking okay? But let, let's just make sure that it is. Uh, I, I could use a little help here, Al, if someone can tell me if they could see the chart, because I don't know whether you can or not. There was the ABCD down, okay? Then what we did is we rallied up to the 78% level, and then we've come down again, folks. The bonds are still bearish, and they're going to be bearish for quite a while. The reason why is the Fed has put a lot of money into putting bonds out and they got to pay the interest on these things so anytime the bonds are rally they're going to be out there selling along with some other people that are buried in these things remember the high on this contract was 172 a uh, year two and a half years ago when they were telling us about negative interest rates when interest rates were one percent remember ah I remember it well <laughs> anyway let's uh, remind ourselves that that's what we're doing the fact that we're coming down let me check and see if anybody can see this or not Ah, uh, God damn it. I, I, didn't, I didn't touch applications, Al. I, I mean, uh, uh, I didn't touch it. Let me see if it's up here now. I think there it is. Okay. All right. There it is. There's the bonds. Okay. Now, I think everybody can see that okay, and I can see my little mouse moving. There was the ABCD to the downside. Then we rallied up to the 78% level of here. Now we're backing off into here. Now, we are going to probably try to make a bottom somewhere around the 61. And all we're going to do is get a, a very small 
a rally, maybe two or three points in the bonds. Folks, the bonds have one of the most bearish patterns that you could see on the long-term weekly. If you follow the, the trade what you see newsletter that I put out, you know, I've been talking about that for a very, very long time and that we have too much debt out there and that debt has to be redeemed and it may or may not come in the form of the stock market, I don't know, but uh, there is too much debt out there and debt is not good. And when and that's I'm talking about credit card debt, student loan debt, automobile debt. I mean, the average automobile payment now for a new car is seven hundred and ninety five dollars. Folks, that's three times what I paid for my first car. You know, my first car was a 1949 Mercury convertible and I paid one hundred and ninety five dollars. It was in the garage of an old farmer, but he and it hadn't run for a while. But my buddies pulled the engine on it and had it up running in 24 hours. And the car ran for, you know, quite a while until I got lucky in silver and then I bought something else. Anyway, this is what we're watching here today uh, in the Treasury bonds. And then also the other one that's really super important is we've had I want to get that one up here because we're going to be looking at that very, very shortly. So hold on one second. We need to look at the euro because they have taken the euros to the woodshed today, folks. We thought we were trying to, let's get that hourly chart up because that's the one we were really focusing on. We had all kinds of patterns that we wanted to sell at the 382. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't get there. Hold on, I'll get this up here so everybody can see this one also. I gotta do one thing at a time. And I come up here, and I hit change window, and then I hit change share screen, and click that on, and now you can see my euro. We were trying to sell the euro up here at the 382 retracement right about there, and it didn't quite get there. That was a 382 over of this level right here. And then, of course, uh, Lagarde and the folks at the ECB came out and said, we're raising rates by a quarter of a percent and you can see the market is broken down now below the 1.618 level that tells us that we're probably going to be going to 105 uh, in the at least 106 and in, in a very very small handle like 10610 to 105 is the long term weekly uh, on that i believe let's just double check this for kicks and giggles we'll get the uh, i got to remember how to do this because Every time I do something here, it's a little bit different. I know what I have to do. Okay, what I'm going to do now is to put the weekly chart up here, and you'll be able to see there's what we want to be looking at. So I think we can all see that right now, and we're going to draw this in so that you'll be able to see where we are. And we'll be coming into the 382 on this here at 106.11. Do you see that right there? I hope that everybody can. Let me... Uh, let me get up here and take, yes, we can. There it is. There's your 106.11. All right, now this is a weekly. Now you see you're coming down here for 10 weeks. So it's going to be really interesting right here because we're going to take these lows out and then we're going to be setting right at the 382. Remember we had a 382 way back here. You see that? And then boom, bada bing, bada boom. There it goes. So that's what we're watching here as we can see this uh, unfolding uh, here today. So watch 106.11. That's down about another 50, 60 pips. We'll take a look at the US dollar when we come back because it has uh, shattered the 105 level. 877 <clears throat> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Peter from Park City, Utah on the line. Peter, are you there? Yeah, Larry, I am. Can you hear me? Coming in loud and clear, my friend. What can I help you with? Perfect. I wanted to continue on the euro. Um, okay. I traded the euro in the futures, um, and it went down. It tagged that previous low from a couple months ago at uh, 106.47. It hit 106.46. And the 382 on the futures is 106.52. Mm -hmm. um, would this be a place to take a chance on a, uh, going Absolutely. long? Or is that just got too much risk in it? Would you no, wait there, to see if it no, popped you, and then pulled back like a 382, which I'm sure you're going to say? <laughs> well, you know, actually, you know, I don't think you're, you're, you're very oversold now. Okay. You're, uh, you're down at, you're down 10 weeks in a row. The dollar index has not made new high, which just absolutely surprises the living baloney out of me. I can't understand. It's, it's trading below 105. And that was the 382 actually, on the weekly. Actually, it's 105336 at the moment. Uh oh, my data was wrong then. Sorry about that. Because, uh, okay, good. Yeah, that, no problem. That, I just that, that, watched that. it just but take out the morning's for, high. Uh, Peter, watch for a pride. Now, you've got to relate to this from the futures to where the, where the cash is, okay? The, the, the actual Forex market. But the actual Forex market yeah. at 10620, okay? 10620. It's 10654, I believe, right now. And we'll watch that. In other words, all you have to do is look about 30 pips lower, and then you'll yep. be at the what, what I think is the maximum exposure. That means your risk there will be 30 pips, and you won't have to worry about. It. And believe me, there'll be nobody wanting to buy it down there. That's for sure. So right. Uh, let's, so let's, so <laughs> what you're saying is it's it's more valuable to use the forex cash than the futures when kind of analyzing it. Yeah, it certainly is. The futures are great, though, for if you're, for trading small positions, you know, 20 contracts or less. The futures are really great. But if you're trading more than 20 contracts, you know, you really need to get into the Forex market because you'll get a better commission rate. But you're probably only paying 4 or $5 anyway, right, or something like that? 7 maybe? Oh, round trips, $4. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. So it's virtually. I mean, I I didn't even, yeah. I didn't get that big a break when I was a floor trader at the Merck. I was paying you know two dollars <laughs> and a half in and two dollars and a half out. You know. So 
Anyway, I hope that helps. Is that okay? Yeah, it does. I appreciate your help. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day, Larry. Thank you. You bet. And, folks, I've just hit a lottery ticket today. I've just noticed, notified that Grace Morris is in the house. Grace, how are you doing? Fine. How are you, Larry? I am good. How was your trip to Paris? The question I have, did you go to Paris, Illinois, or Paris, Texas? Uh, neither. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Munich, Germany, and I oh. came home via uh, Lake Como in Italy. <laughs> oh, my, that's where my family My family's from just uh, 50 miles south of there. You're kidding. Yep. Oh, no, it's the most no, actually, beautiful yeah. and I've been all yeah. over the world. It's the most yes. beautiful. It is. Uh, did you ever did you go to by any chance to go to Villa d'Asta, the big uh, beautiful uh hotel there right. that was uh yeah, that's uh, oh, I, had, we, I had had my honeymoon there. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. That is in the most beautiful area. It is. I always love Singapore the best, but I think Lake Como has to be. Uh, the you most can't beautiful. compare. You can't compare Singapore to Lake Como. Not with the the beautiful the, right. the lake and the, the Alps and right. everything. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, but the Singapore right. is beautiful. That's no question. I love Singapore as a city too. I, Tell us about. I, I uh, do too. Okay, and we have a. Oh, uh, you I faded feel... away. I want to make sure that it's not me. I've got my um, AirPods in this time. Okay. No, you're coming in. You're, you're you're coming in perfectly. Now we've got an IPO okay. today. Uh, uh, ARM is an IPO. Now, do you do you have that on your watch list? Because I know you watch the first trading day and all that kind of stuff. Are you looking at that as far as a investment? Uh, absolutely. And I did you get the uh, chart I sent you on it? It started uh, to trade at twelve oh nine today. I think I have it. Let me double check. I, all I have to do okay. is to go to check my email, and then I'm usually okay. But uh, knowing me all with right. the technical difficulties that I usually <laughs> have, uh, it's always uh, fun to uh, to realize that uh, some things don't always go. The, I've just never mastered the technical stuff, dear. I just uh, it's just been a total disaster for me. You know. <laughs> anyway, hold well, on just a second as here. As long as you get good people. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, that's I have to do most of it myself, but that's it. And uh, Grace, here it is. I think this is the one we want to see. I'll get this up mm -hmm. here. Oh, this is the uh, this is the uh, birth chart. Uh, today. <laughs> yes, is today. The, okay. Uh... I I think we can see <laughs> yep. that. Let's just uh, we're going to get that up here so the folks can see it. Oh dear, let's just uh, with a little bit of luck, we'll be able to do that. Oh, that's not. See if that's correct. Nope. Uh, just one second, Grace. Keep uh, keep that thought because uh, what I have to do now is I have to transfer this over to um, the screen and then move this over to here. And then I ah there I'm in business now. And so now everybody can see your your birth chart. Everybody that has been born has one of these, correct? That is correct. Okay. For the exact time you were born. <laughs> okay. And this is the secret to astrology. This is why you guys can make such predictions is because of that birth chart. And I've seen it in my chart. And uh, so I, mm -hmm. I don't know what it means, but I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's uh, proved really to be uh, amazing. And uh, I discovered this magic formula about 25 years ago, working with businesses for at least 30 years. And the ones that uh, they're shares go over a thousand dollars a share are those that have the uh, pattern as you can see in that chart we have a new moon today so both the sun and the moon are training jupiter and training pluto and that's the magic formula and there it is okay. and i'd now like to say i said it on your program last time i was on and it's in my this month's newsletter, uh, watch on September 15th for the pattern and whatever uh, stocks will uh, first trade. Okay. Now, uh, today we have a, uh, a biblical uh, from someone uh, from the old days of Wall Street, and it was to sell on Rosh Hashanah which is tomorrow, and buy on Yom Kippur. Uh, my good friend uh, Basil Chapman corrected me. I thought it was buy on Rosh Hashanah, sell on Yom Kippur, but it's sell on Yom Kippur and buy on Rosh Hashanah. That's a nine-day lunar cycle. Do you watch that at all, Grace? Not really. I do watch 
lunar cycles, but uh, and I realize all religions base uh, their holidays on uh, mm-hmm. the uh, patterns in the universe, just like Easter is the first Sunday after the first full moon after the mm-hmm. vernal equinox. Well, that's that's the one thing about this is that when people realize that that's what it's doing, it's not really mis- too mysterious at all. Because not it's, at uh, all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I want to I want to thank you for joining us here today. Could you tell the folks how they could reach you if they'd like to see a, can- a sample of your newsletter? Well, if you'd like a uh, free copy of the this month's uh, stock market newsletter, just go to our uh, website, which is astroeconomics.com. Okay, we'll do it. Thank you. We'll have you on again in a few weeks. Stay in the country now. You've got to stay with okay. us, okay? All right, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hold on just a minute. I, I've just lost a whole bunch of data, folks. Bear with me here one second. I'm trying to get up a chart here to show you where we are with a couple of these things. Let's uh, let's go into that euro and take a really close look at that because Peter made a really good point on this. We're going to get this up here, and then I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to take this weekly chart. We'll start out with the weekly. I'll get it posted, and so we'll do this together just to show you what I'm doing here. Uh, I think this is it, and then I go to screens. I hope this is it. Ah, no, that ain't it. 
Bear with me a second, folks. God bless America. Damn. All right. Now, here's where we go. We go to share screens. Change windows. <sighs> this should do it. Okay, now we're there. And what I'm going to do now, no, you could just pull up the chart. Is that, is am I okay now, Jake? Is that good? All right, we're going to analyze this together, folks, because this, this is a market that's very oversold and it's getting ready to rally. I know you might think that's nuts, but uh, it's certainly, it may, maybe I am nuts, but uh, that's never been a question before, I guess. I, no one's answering me, so I'm just going to go here and take a look at this. Okay, here's where we are with the uh, weekly here. I think this is working because I see it flashing. Now, there's the daily. Now, you see you see over here this number, 106.11. That means we're 30 pips away from where we are right now, 1640. And this number is 106.11. See, that's what you're going to be looking for, 106.11. We're down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 weeks. And we just had the boys from the EU, ECB or whatever it is over there, they uh, raise their interest rates by a quarter percent. Not that that'll make any difference. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the daily. And you're going to be seeing here where we are in the daily. This is the same thing that we're looking at. But what we're looking at here on the daily is different than what we're seeing on the weekly. See, we've already got to this point right here. But we're, we're looking for this number right here, which is 106. 10. I'm going to put that in uh, right here. It might get hit because it's only 20, tip, 20 ticks away from where we are right now. So the weekly chart is showing this, but what we have to do is we have to look to see if there's another A, B, C, D here that's forming, and I believe we can probably see one right here because there's your 382 there. Oopsie daisy, stop the music. There's the A, B leg. <sighs> This thing is uh, hyper, uh, shucks. It's just hyperactive, so I'm going to do it with the drawing tool. First thing I'm going to do is to clean the whole darn thing out so that we can see it together. And all I'm going to do now is to come over here and delete all. Okay, now there is what we want to see. I hope you guys can see this. Uh, someone tell me that TFNN that we can see it because we're getting really close now. We're very, very close. There's your AB leg right here. Ah, this God. This thing's worthless as a piece of. You know why? It's it's live here. <laughs> I'm not. All right, I'm going to do it with my drawing tool, folks. There's my. This is what you should do anyway. There's your AB leg right there, okay? And all I do is clone that. And that's going to tell us that we're going to be right here. Get it right here. Stop it there. There you are. We're almost there. But the number that you're looking for is one. Oh, we're, we're 20 ticks away. So I'm going to be buying. Remember, they're cleaning all these guys out. This is uh, we're below this now. So these guys are out of they're out of uh, they're out of business. OK, so this is where we're coming in right here. We're going to be close. What we want to do is we're going to take the one point six one eight number. And that's going to get us. We're a little below that right now. Uh, but nothing you can do about that because we're looking at this on the weekly price, okay? So we're very, very close. That's 106.10. We're 19, uh, 20, uh, 106.10. We're 20, uh, 106.39. We're 29 ticks away, 39 ticks. This low back here, we've already taken that out, okay? Now, the last thing we want to do is looking at this is uh, we want to count the number. This is a daily, so we want to count the number of days down in the move. So from this high right here, to that low was 11 trading days. So if that's the case, we should be pretty close to 11 trading days when we come over here. Uh, <laughs> they don't like me very much. Okay, let me get this up here, and we're going to move it over right here. Okay, and we're going to see how close we are to 11 days. Uh, you can see it does, too sensitive. There it is. There's, well, what's today? Today's the 11th day. 11th days down here, 11 days down here. You got, if you can't buy it here, folks, you can't buy it anywhere. If you're willing to sell it up there when it's up at 112.80, you got to buy it when it's down here at 106 and change. So, uh, Peter, take a close take a close uh, gander at it here at this 106.40. Let's look at the futures just for the heck of it. And uh, we will get it up here just one second. And that is... Uh, Here's the futures right here, 
and we'll get that up. We'll get it right in front of you. And there's there's the futures that we're looking at. And there's where we were. See, we really wanted to sell this last night. We wanted to get it up here, but we, we didn't get there. This is the 382 off of the other day. There's the new 382. It didn't get there. And now we've broken down and we're getting uh, we're expanding down just like we should but we should look at the daily but the futures are a little bit different because it's not really the uh, the same as the forex because forex is you know hundreds of times thousands of times bigger than the merc the merc has about 2% of the business so here's the same pattern that we're looking at 10 days down 10 days down 11 days down so we've taken out these lows so you got to get ready to buy it and uh, look it's almost trading exactly at forex peter that that in itself is amazing See, there's your 1.618 uh, expansion is here at 106 even, and you want to buy at 106.10, shut the front door and raise the rent. That's what you got to do. I mean, that's that's going to be – look, these, these dudes are out of the market already, and nobody wants to buy it here, but we're 10 days down here and 10 days down here, and we've got an ABCD lining up right on the money. So uh, pay close attention to this one. This is getting ready to uh, – you know, probably rock and roll a little bit. So we'll have to wait and see. One other thing we'll look at, we'll look at the AI program to see if it did anything today. And we'll see if it's showing anything. Oh, that's, the, that's oh, there we go. It's it's certainly inverted now because this has been, this has been going up instead of down. So right over a bottom, it looks like. That, that in itself would be interesting. We'll get rid of the uh, European one. We'll delete that. And we'll take this. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to invert this because sometimes... The market does the exact opposite of what do you think it's going to do. And there you are. See, there was a really nice high right here, and there was a there was a high, but you see how it inverted? And look where you are now. You're right over what we think is going to be a bottom. The odds on this, I mean, there was a spot. Reverse. This is not reversing. Look, you have this little tiny move right here. So this whole cycle has been lined up really nicely. We'll just draw this up in so you can see it. And here it is coming down. We're we're within a few minutes here of uh, buying it. So uh, I don't know. You, you know. It's only trading a tick at a time. So you have to pick a spot, Pedro. So I hope you picked the right one. I, I would be. I would go about ten pips lower at 106, uh, 106, uh, 106 uh, 19. That, that's twenty ticks lower. Then I'll take a look at it there. Stop below one oh six. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six. Four, eight. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I wanted to bring up uh, what I thought was the best trade of the day. Now, I came in uh, crude oil up about $1,100, so it was not as if I was giving money away. In fact, I am right now, but I sold it here at the 1.27. You can see at 89.79, and I risked uh, 70 pips on that. Excuse me, 80 pips, 80 cents. So my stop would be 80 into 79 would be at 69. Okay, so that's where my stop would be. Uh, the high has been 51 so far, and uh, it's not working very good. But it's got everything necessary to make it work, except that it's not working. You've got a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern coming up. You're at the 1.27 expansion. In fact, you're above it right now. But uh, and you've got the number of days up in the move. Number of days up in the move was 11. This is 11. So it's not working, but that's it. Got to take them because I don't know which ones work and which ones don't. So that's what I'm trying to do when I do that. Now, yesterday when we were doing the trade in the crude, all I was doing was showing you intraday what it was doing because it was very, uh, you know, apparent that there was a really strong support in the crude oil at that 382 retracement, which was 8821. That was the low, 8821. So those numbers certainly mean something. Now, since we're talking about 382s, we're going to bring up another one of our little furry little friends, and that is the old uh, gold market, and we're going to bring up here. You're going to be able to see I'm going to get it a little bit bigger here, and then I'm going to come in, and I'm going to reshare the screen so that we can blow it up and all have a good time watching it. Okay, and this is a crude oil. See, there was the, there was a 382 from the other day. There was a 382 today, spot on. They're both absolutely perfect. Now, we've had a rally today. You see, we've had a pretty good rally, and it's continued to keep the rally. It's only backed off about 3 or $4 from the 382 level. This might be the first sign in a long time that we might get, be getting ready to see more of a move to the upside uh, in the gold market. Gold and silver are both incredibly oversold. So we're going to be, be watching those when I uh, take a look at these things at the end of the day here. Uh, getting ready for uh, tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow, but I'll still be watching the markets. I won't. I won't be doing any trading because I'm going to be at. Uh, I'm taking a 92 uh, year old lady in for a cataract surgery. <laughs> She's as healthy as a horse. Doesn't drive a car, and uh, so I'm taking her uh, to the doctor. Her husband was a very, 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 very important man to the U.S. Navy. He won the Silver Star, and uh, he was a submarine commander in World War II. And he passed away about six years ago, and uh, really a nice fellow. He uh, he was our Santa Claus in the neighborhood. He put up all the decorations on everybody's house, six houses. He did it every year for the 30 years I've been here. Well, not the last six. He wasn't here for those. Anyway, another another neighbor took over the job. Anyway, this is what we're looking at here in the in the gold market. That 382 was off the high right up here. It was also a 61% retracement of the previous day's high. And so that's why it was a good trade. Just like when we were looking at the bonds, same thing we were seeing in the bonds. 
was that we've only bought we've only backed off three dollars in the gold market today after hitting the 382 so that's telling us that uh, we're looking at something oh there's one other one that I wanted to mention to you today let's get it up here because I like doing this is the fact we've just made uh, we're getting closer to Peter's buy point Peter you should be about uh, should be about 15 pips away over here in the let's do it to get it up here so Peter can see this here in the uh, Oh, boy, you can't see this thing coming down. It is dropping like the proverbial rock. And what we're going to do here, since we've got it right here, I've got it marked in. Yeah, you're exactly, uh, I think you're about 12 pips away, Peter. So bear with it. Let me get this chart up, and I'll show you what I'm paying attention to if you care. And if you don't care, then that's okay, too. All right, here's where we are. All right, there's where we are. I'm going to go and take a look at this now, do a little magic work on it. When these things are flashing, I know that it's working. So I can, ah, now what happened? Uh-oh. Something went dead. Something, something went dead. Hold on just a second, folks. I don't know what it was. Got to love it. Only in America. Oh, I don't know what's happened, so... All right, here's where we are. Okay, now we're there. All right, I can come up here. I can see the things flicing. I can see the market coming down in ABCD format, and it's already uh, – I can't use this thing because it doesn't work. I have to draw it in. Hold on. There's your – I did so many of these over the years drawing in these things. See, we are real close here, Peter. Uh, I have to say, Peter, you're about uh, nine pips away is where I'd buy it. And then you got to risk below here. You got to you got to be below uh, even money, so you're going to have to risk about 25 pips. Might not work, but by golly, it's got a lot of things going for it there. I uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's take a quick look to see if that made any 382 retracement after the news came out. And here was uh, where it was trading beforehand. This is when the news came out. Here's where the market broke. So if you took your high right here and drew that in. Shut the front door and raise the rent. What do they call that, Billy Ray? That'd be a 382. How do you do? And I bet you this was another one, too, right here. We'll just measure this one from this high down to this one right here. Uh oh, that goes into the 50%, but the difference here is only five pips, so you got to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a leeway uh, in here. So I hope that pays uh, close attention to what we're watching here. And, uh, uh oh, got to get this out of the way. I think we're bouncing around here a little too much here. See if we have any questions coming from the den. No one seems to ask any questions anymore, so no one really cares, and that's okay, too. Hold on one second. Um, I've got to get this thing straightened up so I can see what the heck I'm doing, and I can't do it this way. So let me get down to where it says, oh, I can't get back into the host. Oh, holy moly, guacamole. What am I doing wrong now? Well, oh, this might help. Hold on just a second. There, now I'm back into the host again. Okay, I think we're all right. Oh, okay, any questions? we got a break coming up here. Oh, my the show's almost over. Relief in sight. Let's take a look here. Uh, I wanted to show you the S&P because I think that's where we're going to go here in just a moment, and it's going to be a real interesting one here. Uh Nah, it's okay. Let's just, let's just, uh, well, we're going to find out here. Well, I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, it's not important. It really isn't, so I'm not going to worry about it. Hold on. Well, we're going to find out if selling Rosh Hashanah and buying Yom Kippur is going to be right because we got that new moon coming in today, and then we've got uh, tomorrow. I won't be here, which is always going to be an exciting day, but we'll have Bartoleone, Jimmy Bartoleone will be our guest on uh, Monday of Bart's Charts. He's got some really good stuff on the British Pound. Interesting, and I've, we've done some work on the British Pound here, but there's time re remaining is limited, so I can't really show that right now. So I hope that helps, folks. So let's take a little break here. I think we've got a break coming up. I have to check the old clock on the wall here, and uh, should be coming in here just about another uh, 37 seconds, and uh, not much time left. But if you do have a question, 877-927-664. We'll be right back, okay?
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, for kicks and giggles, we're going to look at something else. We're going to go back and look at the old September S&P. Look at this, folks. We're making an ABCD here today, didn't we? Shut the front door, we sure did. Now you don't trade this when you trade the December, but there's the ABCD. You don't see that on the December, do you know why? Because they change these prices, and that's why it's difficult. But this is where you should be selling it, right here. That's what I'd be doing, and I just did, at, uh, what was that, number 55 and a half? And I put a stop at 65, gonna risk 10 points right here, is all I'm gonna do. But that's an ABCD. It's what it means to me. I hope that helps. Listen, please do something for your neighbors out there. Always good to try to help them out a little bit. I'm trying to put together a group to uh, raise some money for the folks in Morocco, maybe to send some water and some food over. Uh, we're going to be sending some, of course. we got friends over there, and uh, we're going to be taking care of that through one of the ministries that is there. So. If you want to make a contribution, you can send something to, uh, ah, never mind, I'll take care of it all. Anyway, everybody have a good weekend. I won't be here tomorrow, and uh, wish, wish me a little luck at the old uh, eye, eye doctor place. Should be a piece of cake. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And folks, try to do something for your neighbors. When I say that, I really do mean it. It's really important. 
to do that. I mean, it's it, it, you can't take your money with you. You don't have to give them money. You can give them your time, whatever it does. But give back to what the world's given to you. You know, even if you've had some bad things happen, which we all have had happen. Hell, I've lost seven major friends here in the last nine months. And that's not a lot of fun, but that's one of the advantages of living older. You get to bury your friends, which is not fun. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So we got just a few seconds here to go. Remember, uh, no, no show tomorrow, but there'll be a show, but I won't be on it. So see you on the flip side on Monday, folks. May God bless. 